All right, hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a video that I've been wanting to do. We're gonna be changing out the manifold absolute pressure sensor and also the upstream O2 sensor on our 2014 Hyundai Elantra. I'm really excited about this because these are some high quality sensors by NTK. I got all my tools and everything right here already. As on my channel, I linked to the HE manual, which is a great resource for people who want instructions on how to do stuff for their car. Um, they basically detail everything. They have torque specs for like whatever it is you may need. You can see them right here. Printed them out, labeled it map sensor, has specific instructions. Um, this one here with the map sensor doesn't really have any torque spec for the bolt, so you just wanna make sure it's tight. However, with the upstream and downstream O2 sensor, you need to actually make sure that you're following torque spec. But yeah, got the instructions. We're gonna go ahead and do this today, guys. Here's the sensors right here. So here's the O2 sensor. Here is the MAP sensor. This one's made in Germany and this one's made in the USA. So very cool. Part numbers for the MAP sensor are MA0032. I'll link it in the description for you guys. Um, I'll also link NTK's website, uh, the specific search part where you can search for um, your need and also vehicle and they'll like give you everything they have for you under specific categories like sensors uh, whatever else it is you need for the o2 sensor it's 24 325 all right guys so let's get to it let's go ahead and pop the hood and let's see pop the hood put that up all right guys so right here is our map sensor um yeah sorry if it's hard to hear me the shotgun mic is behind me but this is it right here. Um, you can see in here, we have the four pin connector. And then right there's actually the bolt for the sensor right there. And that's the only bolt we have to undo. It was kind of tricky getting this off. I used like a flat head to get this part off and then I pull down because just pressing the thumb piece here doesn't work too good. Now, there's a plug here and you're gonna wanna move this right here and unplug it get that out of the way and you're gonna want to latch onto that bolt there. You, I'm using a longer socket attached to my ratchet and it is the 10 millimeter. And so you're gonna want to, now with that piece out of the way, you'll have a better angle here. It won't sit completely, but it'll be enough for you to loosen it and then tighten it again once you replace it. And again, don't forget to unplug the actual connector before removing it. Or you could leave it on, that way it's uh, safe. That way, if you're worried about dropping it, I think it sits in there pretty good, actually. Um, you'll have something tethered to it, then you can take that off, and then you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Get in here, loosen that bolt. Not wanting to ratchet at all, so I'm actually going to try to just in here and do it by hand. Just be careful not to drop it. It's already coming very loose really easily. You can actually probably get this by hand now. Those of you who have uh, bigger arms and hands, this probably is going to be a tight fit. So you might have to deal with removing the coolant hose here, which that would be like a whole thing. So Okay, so we have the bolt out. It is right here. 10 millimeter bolt. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug the connector. There's a little flat head here. It's like this. And that's going to allow me to sort of pry in that little piece that I showed you earlier. It is a bit tricky to do. So again, those of you with you know, bigger arms are going to have some trouble doing this. Oh, dang. And now's a good idea to bring this up and why you need one of these. <laughs> So this is a little um, extender here. It has a little magnet at the end. About three bucks at O'Reilly. Really useful if you've been dropped like nuts down there and you don't want to go through the hassle of like undoing all the little fasteners for the uh, underbody panels. Get that in there and pick up my tool. There we go. Now I'm gonna go around on this side now. Do that and there we go. It's unplugged. We're going to do a test fit of the current connector and make sure it's going to fit. We can. It is secured by a gasket, so it's gonna take a little bit of prying to get it out. There we go. And here's the sensor here. You can see the little gasket O-ring. There's the actual sensor there, don't touch that. And here's our plug. And you know, this looks pretty much the same to me. Um, I really don't see any difference with the, uh, the two plugs. It's kind of hard to see because this has the cellophane on it, so you guys can't really see through without the glare. But I'm based off what I'm looking at here, this will be like an exact fit. In terms of the sensor, okay, so here's a closer look at the sensors side by side. And there's a connector view. You can see the NTK on the left here. 
OEM on the right, these little gaps in between are a little bit bigger, probably to accommodate the variances in the plugs between the different model cars which take this. It looks like the NTK sensor is a little bit a hair taller, if I'm wrong, I don't know. There's no serial number there, but they got their serial number at the back. This looks like a brass feed through here, where this is like some sort of aluminum one. And of course, can't really compare the O-rings because one is old and one is new. They're gonna put a little silicon oil around there to make sure our seal is tight too. It does look a little bit taller as well, just slightly. In terms of weight, mm, can't really say actually. I'd say they're about the same. Maybe the NTK is like slightly heavier. Yeah, I'm all about using gloves and stuff when you're dealing with like, it's gonna set that up there, you know, chemicals and stuff. So, but I forgot I need to get some gloves so I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna put in, get this right here, just like that. And I'm gonna wipe that not anywhere near the sensor, but we're gonna put it around the edge here, just like that of the O-ring. It's gonna make sure we have a nice, nice seal there. That O-ring gasket stays nice and um, nice and protected. I'm also gonna go ahead and get a little paper towel in there and clean the area and make sure it stays nice and um, clean for the new uh, new arrival, so to say. Shop rags or shop towels. <laughs> kind of blow that off. Getting excess lint this is by the manifold. We don't want anything in there. So let's just go ahead and wipe the area down. There we go. Make sure it's nice and clean. You can see some grease and stuff came off there, but not too much. All right, so we're going to be careful not to touch the top of this while we put it in. I'm going to insert down, then go in. So we're going to go like that. Go past the corner there. And then we are going to insert it. There we go. You can start feeling the pressure because it is, does have that O-ring. I'm gonna use my thumb, push it in. And you heard that click there, and it's good. Now I'm going to plug in the actual connector. There we go, connector's in. Now we're gonna be careful about our bolt, but we do have our special tool if we lose it. So we're gonna go ahead and get our bolt seated. Probably use the left hand technique again, backwards. Kind of awkward working but again don't do this if you're going to use my method and you're working in the tight space um please make sure you have one of those magnet tools um to get any bolts you drop or your tools down there because this is just a tight spot and working left-handed if you're not left-handed like that you're gonna get be in an awkward position okay tightened and now we're gonna go ahead and use our ratchet and give it the final tightness yeah i hear the ratcheting yes yeah, that's good like that all right guys there's the NTK right there, in there. I already plugged in the connector and it's latched on. And don't forget to plug in this here, this connector, back towards the vacuum connector. And we're all done, guys.